Yeah, rock and roll, baby. How's it going, everybody? Anthony Sequera here with SirJim.com, and welcome to this episode where we're going to talk about old school, you heard that right, old school laptop hard disk drives. Don't you just love it when this happens? Don't you love it when new technology comes along, specifically SSD technology, that's solid state drive technology, it takes the world by storm. And then what you find is that you can get really great technology at an incredibly discounted price. So look at this. Look at these hard disk drive prices. These are the old school, you know, spinning disks with the platter, the, the arm, the reading, you know, arm that's going to be moving across the disk in order to read the data, all these mechanical moving parts, which means these disks are going to be slower options for our laptops. But look at these prices. This is one of my favorites. The Seagate Fire CUDA Gaming SSHD 2 terabyte SATA drive that's two and a half inches for the form factor. It's for notebooks, laptops. It's the internal hard disk drive. Two terabytes for $60. Wow. I mean, this is amazing how much storage space that we can get at a dramatically reduced price. And that is, of course, because of the predominance of the SSD disks. So let's do this. Let's have a little fun right now. Let me pull up a two terabyte SSD and let's see what that would cost us. And look at that. You know, it's been a while since I've done this exercise and I'm pretty impressed. <laughs> I was thinking it'd be like $400, but here's one on sale at Amazon for $229. But you get the point. That is a big difference from some of these models that we were looking at for the two terabytes. We'll talk a lot more about SSDs in an upcoming video, of course, but just realize that when you use someone like the great Newegg, boy, I've spent a lot of money with them over the decades. But anyways, like sites like this are great because you're going to want to not just be selecting the appropriate capacity, but you're really going to be looking at the form factor. You're going to spec out the laptop that you are putting this hard disk drive in, and you're going to make sure that it is specifying for you. And of course, the service maintenance guides are going to do this for you. It's going to spec out exactly what form factor that you can accommodate. Notice there's different speeds on how fast that disk is going to spin. The faster, the better, as far as your ability to read and write data from it and to it, respectively. There's the manufacturer you can pick, the condition, and then notice the height. Again, it's very important in those cramped laptops or netbooks or notebooks, whatever you're outfitting with this disc, it's important to make sure you know the exact size of the drive, physical size, dimensions that can be supported. And then you could also filter by price. And then finally, you're going to have to once again check with the guide to make sure that you have support for the correct interface, whether it be old school IDE or the very common SAS, or you're doing SCSI or IDE Ultra or Fiber Channel. <laughs> yeah, probably no. Uh, or yeah, there were a couple of options when it comes to the hard disk drives for the laptops and Fiber Channel, but you get the idea. You want to very carefully make your selections here because the last thing you want is to get this disk for this great price have it arrive and you cannot use it with your laptop because you missed one of those key items that you needed to verify. Maybe it's the size or maybe it's the wrong interface for your device. Now, I'm sure at least one of you in the audience is thinking right now, but Anthony, why the heck would I want yesterday's technology? I mean, why would I want the relatively slow hard disk drive? And the answer comes really down to your needs, right? So if you're using the laptop 
for primarily like working with Excel files and Word files and PowerPoint files, you don't really care about the whole SSD thing as much. You want to make sure you have a ton of local storage in a scenario like that, and two terabytes on a laptop is considered a ton. You want to, con you know, make sure you have tons of local storage and the performance is not a key ingredient oftentimes in such a scenario. Contrast this to someone that has a laptop that is interested in gaming, since a lot of the files and a lot of the interaction between the laptop and the data is going to be with the drive, we're going to want as fast a drive as possible in a scenario like that. But, you know, we really have to take a look at the needs, at the requirements, and then outfit the hardware appropriately. And as I said, there really are scenarios where some of these inexpensive, very large, as far as data capacity goes, tr more traditional hard disk drives are going to be the right option for the device, especially considering that backup options are much more plentiful and much more easy to take advantage of today, thanks to cloud, than ever before. So the previous fear of, oh my gosh, I don't want to use a hard disk drive, it's going to fail, and a laptop hard disk drive is going to fail even quicker than like desktop hard disk drives. So I'm, you know, super worried about losing key information. Yeah, with all the great cloud backup solutions today, that's not much of a concern either. So what's the best hard disk or I should say, what's the best disk for your laptop? As with so many questions these days in the world of technology, be careful before you answer. If you're outfitting someone with a new system, let's say, or maybe you're interested in upgrading them, you're definitely going to want to spend some time with them, asking them some key questions to fit them with the laptop disk system that meets their budget meets their performance requirements, meets their capacity requirements when it comes to data, and most importantly, will fit in their darn laptop. So lots of questions that we need to go through when we are considering this area.